Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is September 16 of the year 2024. And here I am trying to do, again, a problem that I've not done yet in Algo. So let's get uh, started, hopefully. Uh, we've been having a, a bunch of easy problems lately, so today we'll see. I mean, it's a medium one, so we'll, I don't know. <laughs> let's take a look. 2137, pour water between bu buckets to make water level equal. Yeah, and buckets, some guy in the water. Uh... Okay. Oh, excuse me, man. I'm tired for some reason. I slept all day. You're also given an injury loss. You want to make the amount of water in each bucket equal. You can pour any amount of water from one bucket to another, not necessarily an injury. However, every time you pour K gallon of water, you you spill loss percentage of K. Uh, okay. Return the maximum water in each bucket after making the amount of water equal. Okay. Um. Take a look. So basically, you can transfer bu water from buckets to buckets, but you'll lose some percentage. Hmm. My first instinct is binary search on the answer. Because basically, the idea is that... Um, Yeah, if you have a, a certain K where, uh, or if you have a certain num, uh, whatever the final answer is, then there are only two instances for each bucket, right? Either it's greater or then lower than. Um, the thing with the loss function is that it's a percentage of K. So that means that, uh, of the transfer amount, right? But that means that you, if you are getting, giving rid of, say, 10 gallons of water, it doesn't matter if you're getting rid of those 10 gallons once or over two scoops, if you will, or three scoops, you're still losing uh, whatever the same percentage is, right? So as a result, you can do a binary search because all you have to know is whether you're, um, yeah, whether you're removing it or not. Uh, and I think that should give us the answer. Uh, yeah, so I mean, well, I know that there's some details that I'm missing, but we'll go over it after we implement the code, I think. I think the biggest thing is that, yeah, um, as long as you can assist in, it's fine. And what I mean by that is that if you take water out, you remove the K, and then, you know, you just basically, you can think about it almost in um, another way to think about it, is that if, if you have a certain target for each bucket, and which is why binary search works, if it goes higher, then you just take it out, lose for that percentage, and then put it in a big bucket, right? And then from that big bucket, you can put it on uh, uh, in the smaller the, the buckets that need water later on. Of course, uh, it's not quite one to one in that way because on a, on a, in our magical uh, huge bucket, we do not lose percentage when we get rid of it, right? So, so th that's fine. But yeah, but here, so then yeah, so we have a, a good function, right? Uh, good, and we have a target for the the final result. So. This is uh, basically if we can get to uh, target in every bucket, right? Uh, so yeah, so then now we have for x in buckets, right? Uh, yeah, and then maybe do, 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 yeah, um, and then maybe I have a total. That's basically the the net amount that we have. So if x is greater. Oh, let's try, uh, okay. If x is greater than target, then we want delta is equal to x minus target. So that's the amount that we're, we're trying to um, pull out of here. And we know that we lost k of them. So here we times it by, um, so you lose. So it's like one minus loss over 100 or something. I mean, we have to fix this a little bit. So I think I, I want something like this. Uh, so one minus loss. Uh, all right, so this over here. All right. So we can do something like that, right? And then now total we add delta, right? And maybe we can even put delta outside because we can also split else if x is less than target. Then delta, uh, I guess this is an else if. I don't know why I wrote it this way. <laughs> My brain is not functioning. Uh, delta is equal to target, or x still x minus target, because then now we don't have to do the loss function. 
but and we know that this is negative because x is smaller than target so we can just add it to delta you know directly and then at the end we return whether um total is greater than or equal to zero right because that means if it's equal to zero it means that we don't have anything left over if we have a negative that means that we need we're short water and if, it, if greater than then we have some left over but that's fine right because the binary search would take care of it for us so here the the smallest that it can be i guess is zero though it would be very hard what's the uh, max amount uh each one is going to be 10 to the fifth so the max amount is going to be 10 to the fifth right Yeah, because you're not going to get it from the max to the... So here we... Uh, keeping in mind that... Um, I, I didn't make this clear, but these are floats, right? So we should be pretty Gucci here. Right? These are all floats. So, yeah. And, and I, I, actually this is wrong for floats because... Because of mathematically um, a folding point position, this may actually not terminate. But we also know that every time we do a loop in binary search, we we decrease the error by half. So we only really need to do this like 50 times or something. Let's do it 100 just to be safe, but, but we can do something like this, right? And then yeah, if good mid. If this is good, then we could try for a bigger number, which means left is equal to mid. Else, we won't try for a smaller number, which is right is equal to mid. And at the end, we just return left, and that should, there you go. Uh, do, 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 delta. Oh. Oh, I guess the x could you go to target. That's why this is a thing. But uh, okay, fine. Huh. But yeah, uh, let's give a quick submit. Maybe I should look at the constraints, but it seems like okay. Ooh, th that is slower than I thought, though, to be honest. Hmm, or I thought it would be. Um, but yeah, so what is the complexity here, right? Uh, this is going to be all of the range, right? Uh, maybe there's a dumber... Um, yeah, maybe there's a dumber uh, solution for it, and that's fine. But and may we can make it f twice as fast for just uh, making this a little bit smaller. But... But yeah, this just allows us to control the error margin. Uh, huh. I am curious now if there's a smarter way. So let me let me give it a quick thought. But just to go over it, this is you know the uh, the complexity that is needed on for um for you know uh, binary search stuff. So it's, it's to fifty iterations. This is O of n because it just does O of n stuff, right? Pretty straightforward. Uh, maybe I could, you know, I don't know. Honestly, this seems pretty, uh, yeah. So percentage is equal to do, 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 do. So maybe we can do this, but I don't. Like, and that'll be slightly faster, but not even that much faster, I don't think. Uh, only 10,000, right? So hmm. I'm actually surprised that this is so slow. Uh, this is definitely one of the ways to do it. Can I do it another way? Let me think real quick, right? I mean, we we can still think about this idea of the bucket. But, huh. I'm surprised that this is so slow, though. Hmm. I guess let's take a hint. Range of the answer can fall into... I mean, yes. I mean, that's basically what I did, right? So I did a binary search. Hmm. But am I implementing it slowly or something? I mean, this looks pretty straightforward, really. Uh, huh. Let me cheat for a second. No, I mean... What, what is the square root thing? I mean, that's literally basically what I have, right? So I don't know. Hmm. I mean, maybe this is a little bit faster, but... 
But I don't, yeah. Like you could, like you could make this slightly faster by doing this. Though maybe at some point you do one of the positions, like this. So yes, yeah, so I don't know if that's, you know. And here maybe you could say, max of buckets, but that that's still the same number of iterations. Yeah, I don't know why mine is so slow. To be honest, it looks mostly the same. Oh, there's a math solution. Maybe that's why. Hmm. Okay, I mean, I guess there's a math solution with sorting. Um, I can see why that would be faster if that's the case. Sorting is pretty fast. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, that is all I have for this one, though, I guess. So thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.